Hey, that was Cheetah, my girl, Cheetah Rivera. Who was here last week for Cheetah? F awesome show. And we're getting married, I told everyone, and I can't wait. Uh, uh, I want to mention real quickly, next week is Lorna Luft. And that ends the Icon series. The whole playlist tonight was the Icon uh, Records label. Uh, just a joke. Thank you. I don't know what you're talking What? I don't take hecklers right now. Uh, I should mention, last week we had a Kennedy Center, Kennedy Center honoree. Tonight we have a national treasure on the stage tonight. I can't even believe it. I'm clamped. Uh, and uh, we also have posters from said shows at the table down there. And Justin Bond is going to be signing afterward perfumes, books, potions, magic. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. And... Uh, that's it. So, without further ado, welcome to the stage. My old roommate, ex-lover, best friend, and sometimes enemy, Justin Vivian Bond! for two days. I've been so excited about this. I hope some of you have been sick too. Because I hate to be alone in anything. But I have been so excited about meeting and performing with Carol Channing, ladies and gentlemen. It's 
that's really too much. Who else? Who better? Nobody. Carol Channing. And I've been, you know, excited about it. What the hell am I gonna do? What kind of show? What kind of set list? And I thought, well, the only thing I can think of is that it's just gotta be a celebration. A love fest, ladies and gentlemen. So I got these fantabulous gentlemen behind me and we're gonna sing a couple of, you know, love songs, some enchantments for the beguiling Carol Channing. love song with a divine Beatles bass line and a big old Beach Boy song I'll match you pound for pound like heavyweights in the final round we'll hold on to each other so we don't fall down What I think you're after with just one kiss I will whisk you away to where angels often tread We'll paint this whole town red And stumble back to our hotel bed And make love to each other Till we're half dead Maybe now Just what you mean to me that I, I have felt like I've known Carol Channing my entire life. I, uh, she's been char a character, a recurring character in my dreamscape for many moons. And, uh, but still, I was wondering, how would we get along? Would everything be all right? And then I found out that Carol drinks Pinot Grigio. And as an aspirational white woman of elegance myself, I too have been known to imbibe in an occasional Pinot Grigio spritzer. Thank you. Parker Posey, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, girl. Now, of course, 
Before I knew about Pinot Grigio spritzers, I knew about Martini and Rossi on the rocks. And why did I know about them? Because of another aspirational white woman of elegance who I've been a fan of for many moons by the name of Angie Dickinson. Maybe next summer we should get Angie Dickinson out here. Because I've never been a policewoman, but I've got pretty good aim. Of course, one of the great love stories of all time in my book was the love story of Angie Dickinson and Burt Bacharach. Now, Burt Bacharach wrote many terrific tunes and he started out when he was still chicken as the musical director of Marlena Dietrich. And the only reason I bring that up is because there are recordings of her introducing him where she said, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bacharach! And I just wanted to have an excuse to say that. Bah, bah, bah. But they did commercials together for Martini and Rossi on the Rocks, in which a surprisingly charismaless Burt Bacharach said, well, first Angie said, basically, as an aspirational white woman of elegance, <laughs> I like, uh, when I'm in my white mood, I like my Martini and Rossi white on the rocks. I don't know, this said something else. You can check it out on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing's original unless you get it wrong. <laughs> and So she comes strolling up with her martini and Rossi on the rocks, and Bert, in a very charmless way, says, Martini and Rossi on the rocks, say yeah. And Angie leans down and says, Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need. So, uh, why the hell? Oh, yes. So I'm like, Why the hell am I talking about Angie Dickinson? But the thing is, you know, this song is from the 60s. It's got that kind of jazzy feel. It's a Burt Backrack number. And uh, I always think of the 60s and I think of this song. And of course, when I think of the 60s, I think of Burt and Angie. Uh, some people say that for them, the 60s ended uh, the night of the Manson murders. Joan Didion said the 60s ended for her when they moved out of the house on Robertson. For me, the 60s ended in 1983 when Bert and Angie were divorced. <laughs> so uh, this one's for all of the holdouts that... <laughs> ...like to drink. I had several gin and tonics at the Tiki Bar last night before I met Carol at the boat because I thought, you know what, I love her so much, I want to see two of her. <laughs> of love is in your eyes, a look, your smile can't disguise. of love is saying so much more than just words could ever say and what my heart has heard well it takes my breath away i can hardly wait to hold you feel my arms around you how long I have waited, waited just to love you. Now that I have found you, you've got the love of love. It's on your 
face A look that time can't erase Be mine tonight Let this be just the start of so many nights like this Let's make a lover's vow and then see it with a kiss I can hardly wait to hold you feel my arms around you how long I have waited waited just to love you now that I have found you don't ever go ladies and gentlemen when you find that person and you don't want to let go lead to some strange moves, some awkward choices. <laughs> I'm thinking of another person who sang this song who's one of my personal heroes, Miss Claudine Langer. <laughs> For those of you who don't remember Claudine Langer, she was the wife of Andy Williams in the 1960s. Terrific success on television. She wasn't particularly talented, but she could whisper as only a French kitten could. The look of love. You don't have to go to that part, I'm just saying. Just keep going, Ben, just keep going. And uh, she, uh, she divorced Andy and she moved to Aspen, as every woman who had self respect did in the 1970s. And she took an Olympic ski lover, skier lover. And by the way, Daniel and I were not lovers. A one night stand does not make you lovers, Daniel. But it was fun. Slept my way right here to the middle. <laughs> but it only took one time. <laughs> so Claudine Langer found her dating an Olympic ski instructor by the name of Spider Savage. And in a haze of cocaine and alcohol, a place we've all, if we haven't been, we should have. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> Spider Savage decided he was gonna leave Clonge, and she didn't like that. So she went to have a little talk with him and while they were discussing it, she accidentally shot him in the back. Five times. While he was cleaning the gun. Also showering. Also shaving, also brushing his teeth. Boom, 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 boom. Hi, ha! She went to jail and proclaimed her innocence. But I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I'm not guilty. And of course, because justice is colorblind, she was found not guilty. I can call you. found you don't ever go <laughs> don't ever go <laughs> don't ever go but I'm not guilty I didn't do it I didn't do it I love you Shatem so Claudine Langer! Thank you. Now I'm gonna sing a song to you that was, uh... well, I found this song and I wanted to perform it because I liked it. I heard it by the writer, a woman by the name of Evie Sands, or Evie Sands, or something like that, Sands, E-V-I-E. -E. Whenever I think of that name, I think of 
Well, I don't really know anyone by that name. Um, <laughs> but I thought, well, I've never heard this song by anybody else but her. Someone must have covered it, so I went to YouTube, and I found out that Barbara Streisand had covered it, and I thought, well, I don't want to do it if uh, Barbara Streisand did a really good version. But she didn't. She did a terrible version. <laughs> She's known to do that. And that's all I'm gonna say on that subject, except that if you haven't read Carol Channing's book, Just Lucky, I Guess, you should turn to uh, the pictures because the picture says a thousand words and Carol was very kind about Barbara Streisand in her book, but uh, in the captions there's a picture of uh, Carol meeting yet another president, Lyndon Johnson, and, and Carol said meeting President Johnson noticed uh, Barbara Streisand in the background cleaning her fingernails. <laughs> Enough said. So now I'd like to sing this song for you. I hope I remember it. He walked right up and told me that he liked my style. But it was the way he smiled. He said, you're quite a lady. And I know a place that's shady Would you like to come and lie with me a while? And deep in my soul I could feel a quiver When he went down And found that sweet old river And he showed me the way To find love in the afternoon Yeah Something in common, but it wasn't clear. He said that life's a lover, won't you love it like no other? Just a vitamin when you get your share. And deep in my soul, I could feel a quiver when he went down and found that sweet old river. And he showed me the way to find love in the know what's going to happen in this world, in show business, etc. And I always think, well, if I don't end up, oh, there goes the cat. If I don't end up uh, being a success in show business, what would my second choice be? Which obviously it would be to be one of those ladies that sprays unwanted perfume on you at the perfume counter. I'd like to be the lady that says, would you like to try a sample of the afternoon of a fawn? And the reason I mention the afternoon of a fawn is because that's my perfume that I created. I said I wanted it to smell like a touch of taint on the knoll at twilight. You've just come from a fire with a dirty fairy and you're laying in the grass fucking next to a bed of flowers. And quite frankly, I think it was a success. I'll be selling it after the show, and I hope you'll each come up and buy a bottle. It's really quite lovely. No place is shady, won't you come and serve his lady? Cause I done found a way to play that game. And deep in my soul, I could feel a quiver when he went down.
show me the way to find love in the afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah, oh, that was from Barbara Streisand's album, Butterfly. On one cover, on the front cover, Barbara Streisand's hair is turning into a butterfly, and on the back cover, there's a stick of butter with a fly on it. And I heard that record many, many times because I lived in a house with lesbians, all lesbians but me. Uh, <laughs> I don't like those kind of specific labels, but I fit in. And uh, I had this one lesbian roommate who was crazy about that record and she'd get herself a glass of bottle of red wine and she had these vibrators and she'd go into a room and she'd fall asleep, fall asleep with that record on repeat and the vibrator going and the glass of wine in her hand until she, she woke up because the vibrators would go because they're electric and they explode sometimes. We had a wall of exploded black charred vibrators on the wall. We call it the Barbra Streisand Memorial Wall. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm so happy. We're very fortunate to be here tonight in this place. And I was thinking the other day, about 40 years ago, the queens would have to bury their drag in the backyard because the police would come over and raid them and arrest them for putting on a pretty dress. And that's what's happening in Russia right now. They made it illegal to say you're gay. That's propaganda. And it's upsetting me. I'm just gonna be honest because believe it or not, no matter what people might think, sometimes I actually care. So I wanted to sing this next song, uh, just uh, as a sort of, I think, you know, whatever we can or can't do, the least we can do is think about it, talk about it, and send our love and support in their direction. Could be like two wings beating 